So I thought about popcorn and I thought, how about I show you how I make my popcorn? Because I bought something that makes it so much easier to make popcorn. But then I thought, hmm, to show you that, I think I need to clean the microwave first. <laughs> today's episode how are you doing welcome to stories of my life so it's the last of june i have been sleeping like i was paid to sleep sort of i, I had a fantastic day thanks to my friend magnus yesterday he celebrated well it was the second part of celebration celebrating me on my 60th birthday which was sorry in april and he took me away. He didn't tell me where we were going. And we, well, some of you might have seen it already, I guess. We got a boat, boat we got on a boat where we travelled for three hours. And then we got off at, at, at this castle. And then we went around this fantastic castle. And uh, then um, got a bus. Doesn't sound so interesting when I'm telling it now. It was it was fantastic. But now, since it is today, is the last of June, some of me, you might know just that I sort of put this sort of an establishing shot from my apartment building. I, I, I choose a new one, or you choose a new one every month. So I have to go out now. The weather is not, it's not really bad. It's supposed to be really bad in the south of Sweden, but it's it's sort of... You know, clouded over, no wind. But I think there would be, you know, if it was sun, a lot of more people would be out, I think. So I think I need to go out now, take some pictures because of uh, videos, some clips, because it might take time, because I don't think as much people are out moving about today as they would had there been a fantastical sun. Yeah. I have so much videos to edit it is almost overwhelming, but not quite. Yes, this is my Star Wars shorts. I guess I should have said these are my Star Wars shorts, so, because pants, funnily enough, are plural. I guess because they used to not be sewn together, one leg and another leg. I'm not sure. I think it's that thing. Yes, it's waning. It's waning real bad. Not really bad, but it's just waning. I just realized the whole, the whole, all the clips Establishing shots for July will be raining. Rainy. Well, it will be the same, but it will be raining. Okay, just one more. One spectacular more. There's suddenly nothing. Feel like a cross between a detective and a hunter. So this is how we're going to play. I'm going to show you a lot of pictures from things going by my apartment building. There will be numbers. And then in the end, you have to remember which one you sort of, oh, this is the funniest one. And then in the end, I will sort of let you choose, vote your favourite. And that, the winner, the, 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 the video 
with most votes win and that'll be the establishing shot for the rest of the month. Establishing shot for the rest of the month, that was really hard to say. Let's start the thing. I have a problem. I like, I feel like, oh, I like something sweet. I like a cookie or something. But then it's raining outside and I, should I bake? Should I start baking? I'm the baking person. I'm not sure. I get back to you. So I thought about popcorn and I thought, how about I show you how I make my popcorn? Because I bought something that makes it so much easier to make popcorn. But then I thought, hmm, to show you that, I think I need to clean the microwave first. So this is how I got the microwave cleaned. So to quiet that sweet tooth of mine, I put a piece of stale sourdough bread in the waffle Waffle iron is the word I'm most looking for. I will now get some peanut butter and some marmalade. And yes, I would have gotten jam if I wasn't without jam. Mm. Mm. This is how I make my perfectly easy and delicious popcorns. Stay tuned. You start by having a perfectly spotless microwave. Then you get one of these contraptions. It's, it's from a company called Lecue, 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 something. And the fun part is this is something that gets bigger. It's foldable. Well, like so. Suddenly it's a bowl. And then you get some kernels, some popcorn kernels. Usually I fill up to that ridge, but I this is all the sort of popcorn I have. So, oh, that was enough. Then on with a silicone lid and into the microwave it goes. And then you set the timer for about six minutes. but you will stop before that. And while the kernels are popping, we are fixing some flavory things to put on. In water, I put about a teaspoon of Szechuan pepper, and I will put a, a tablespoon of deactivated yeast, that is to get sort of a cheesy flavor to the popcorn, like so, and then half a teaspoon of salt, like so, and then you start crushing. And you listen to the popcorn and when they're sort of, you can count to five seconds b between the popping, you stop the microwave so that you don't overheat the popcorners. And you must be really careful because this is, well, the silicone bowl isn't hot, but the steam that comes out when you lift the lid is sauna-like. So, let's see. Oh, good. Now, you pour this into a nice bowl. Look at that. Since we haven't used any butter or oil or anything, if I just pour the flavorings onto this, they will sort of just follow through and fall to the bottom. So I like to sprinkle some oil onto this. Not much, just enough to, for the flavors to sort of adhere. Wish I had sort of, a, I know there's something, some spray bottles for oil, but like so. And then you just go, <laughs> oh, very nice. oh, this smells fantastic. Okay, and then you stir just enough to, that the oil and the flavorings, the spices and the salt get distributed. Hmm. Taste to test, you say? Well, okay. Here we go. Mm. This is so easy to eat.
Mm. I better get me one of those spray bottles for, for oil. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.